In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to switch your YouTube channel from a personal account to a brand account and more importantly, how to make the switch without deleting your account and without losing any existing videos, subscribers or views. Let's roll. Hey, it's Leah Ray from DigitalTrailBlazer.com. Welcome to our channel. You want to use YouTube to grow a business, drive traffic, convert sales, and you're in the right place. So subscribe and make sure that you hit that little bell button for notifications. Now, if you're using YouTube to promote a business, or if you're just a content creator that really wants to turn YouTube into a serious source of income, then you definitely want to convert your YouTube channel into a brand account as soon as possible. Now, a brand account with YouTube gives you a lot more flexibility over just your standard YouTube channel. It allows you to add managers to your channel and to give them different levels of access. And that way you don't have to give out your personal login information to others and that they don't give them inappropriate levels of access to do things they shouldn't be doing on your channel or giving them your personal information to log into your Gmail. On top of all that, it allows you to name your channel however you want, as opposed to your channel name always having to be the same as your Gmail account name. Plus having a brand account allows you to transfer your YouTube channel to someone else completely. So if you actually sell your business down the road, this will allow you to transfer this as an asset to the new owner. So before we get started, there are a few things that you need to be aware of. Now, the first is that you will lose your custom URL if you have one already. But the good news is that you can get this back later on going through the same custom URL process or simply by contacting YouTube support. Now you need to understand that you will lose any comments that you have made on videos. Now you will still have other people's comments. Those are still be there, but your comments, when you reply to them, those are going to be deleted. So if you're okay with that, then let's get started. So the way that this works is that you don't actually switch your personal account directly into a brand account. Now, the way that YouTube is set up is that you right now have a personal Google account with a YouTube channel attached. And what you want is a brand account with a YouTube channel attached. So what you're going to do is create an entirely new brand account, which will automatically create a YouTube channel with it. Then the next step is to transfer the YouTube channel from your personal account to the brand account, which will just really overwrite anything that's on that brand account, but you just created it. So it's going to be empty anyway. So when you do this, right, you're transferring the entire channel with all of the videos, playlists, subscribers, and views along with it. Make sense. All right. So the very first step is to be logged into YouTube with your regular old account, what you're currently using where that has your channel attached. Now from here, you want to click on your little icon up here and go on down to the settings option. And we are going to create the new brand account first. So I'm going to go over to add manage your channels and create a new channel. See, and it automatically is set up with a brand account. Yay. I'm going to just put this as testing brand account because I just want to keep this easy and simple and let you guys see how this all works. So testing brand account and I'm going to hit create, but this would be your name, your business name, your brand that you're building online, whatever that is for you. So now we have the brand new brand account and we are logged into that channel. So we're going to switch back to the old channel and you can see this has just a T here. I'm going to go back to switch account. We're going to go back to that old channel here. There we go. So now I'm logged in here and I'm going to head into YouTube studio. When I'm in YouTube studio, we're going to head over to settings right over here, bottom left. Now within YouTube settings, you have a little pop up. I'm going to hit the channel option down here and over to advanced settings on that tab. Scroll down a little bit and we're going to go to manage your YouTube account. It's going to pop up into a new tab and on this page, which should look familiar. We were on there just a few minutes ago. You're going to click on the view advanced settings. So we're really kind of digging deep in the wormhole here, but we're getting there. Now this is the one you need this. We're finally there guys move channel to a brand account. Boom. Click on that. They do want to make sure it's really you because this is kind of a big thing to move this over. So they are going to ask you to verify and do kind of a double verification. So I just have to verify this with my phone. Once you've done the double verification process, then this is where we are actually doing the move. So you can see first off, this is my channel. So this is my channel. This is just kind of like a dummy channel I have out there that I don't do anything with, but it says that I have 31 subscribers, a whole bunch of videos, no playlist, blah, blah. So this is what I currently have now. And it's currently connected to this account. 
Now, after the move, where am I gonna send it? So I'm going to send this to brand testing account. That's the account that we just created. So I'm gonna select that. <laughs> Already has a YouTube channel, but you see it's zero subscribers, no videos, no playlist. So you, ha if you have access to multiple channels, take a pause, do a double check. You wanna make sure that you're grabbing the right channel, the one you just created, and that there's zero subscribers and zero videos because we're about to overwrite that. And you wanna make sure that you didn't grab a different channel on accident. So this is just warning us, yes, it will overwrite anything, which is fine and we understand. So I'm gonna click delete channel. So again, verifying current channel, 31 subscribers, a whole bunch of videos connected to my Gmail account afterwards is going to be connected to my new brand account, testing brand account. All right, I'm gonna hit the move channel button and it wants to make sure, yes, yes, comments cannot be moved. We understand that and we're gonna move channel. So once you hit that move button and it does its little dance, then you can uh, verify. So just you're in YouTube, back where we started, you can cancel out of the advanced settings and we're gonna navigate to that new account and make sure everything is there and you'll see it find and dandy. So hit the little icon, we're gonna switch account and we're gonna go into this brand new testing account and look at it, it has 31 subscribers. So that's a good sign. <laughs> it all moved, which is fabulous. So I've got a whole bunch of unlisted videos and things that I've done here in the past, but voila, we now have moved our old channel, which was a personal account, it has now become a branded channel and we can add managers and we can protect our account with different layers of security as we proceed with growing our channel and giving more people access and build a team. Now to learn some very simple steps to increasing your income with YouTube, make sure that you watch this video next, upper right corner of your screen or at the top of the description. I'll see you there. Take care.